It's not good to give your animals such a big space. It gives them a lot of anxiety, especially when you're trying to like get them used to you. It's always nice to have a nice, tight, clean space for them. But anyways, back to the next animal. This is number eight. like small little areas type places i'm sure i've talked about it in many other episodes it's not good to give your animals such a big space it gives them a lot of anxiety especially when you're trying to like get them used to you it's always nice to have a nice tight clean space for them but anyways back to the next animal this is number eight all right guys so had to let my phone charge for a second but we're back here we go, the next clip. For you guys, you're not even gonna notice. But here we have Chevy. So as you can guess, we're going to clean Chevy's cage. And what is required to clean Chevy's cage, you would ask? We gotta change the paper under her cage. Look at her, look at her pretty bird. I'm gonna build her an aviary outside sooner than later. Just gotta, you know, build up them funds and stuff. But we're gonna build her a nice outside cage. We're still gonna keep the inside cage because people like to steal these beautiful animals. Right, girl? But, um, so she'll have a cage so when she goes to sleep at night, she has somewhere safe to be. But besides that, let's go clean. Ready? Ready, girl? Come on, let's go. Let's clean her cage. Quickly, I gotta pull out the tray. Why are you shaking so much? We gotta pull out the tray change out the paper. I sweep everything around the cage because if you guys don't know, if you guys don't know, these birds like to throw their food everywhere and spit it out. So you're continuously sweeping every day because they like to make a mess. They like to make a mess? Who's here? You worried about somebody? There's no one here, buddy. Look at her. Pretty girl. Pretty wings. Pretty wings. Show me your pretty wings, come on, let me see, pretty wings. Pretty wings, pretty wings, let me see these pretty wings. Oh, look at them pretty wings. All right, so I'm gonna clean this cage, guys. Let's get to it. So there it is, just like that, the cage is clean. I accidentally spilled some water, don't mind me. Sherry's back in her cage, look at her, ever so beautiful, hello? Hello? Okay. Clean Chevy's cage, that's animal number nine. And here we go on to the next. It's kind of hard to see right now because in this tank it's still nighttime. I don't turn it on till three because I kind of use this tank as a nightlight for the kids and whatnot, you know, or just to have ambiance in the house. So we have three fish in this awesome um, conch over here. So that's nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 animals we're at this tank i usually just add water don't really have to clean it because i use a uh, i use a really good filter which is my drinking filter shout out to kenjin machines and that's how i technically apply water to this tank so it doesn't produce a lot of garbage i also keep my lights very minimal so on that note it produces very little algae so the next animal we're going to pull out right quick you guys have that been following me for a while probably know these geckos i've had them for a little bit these leopard geckos yes that's what they are leopard geckos i had two of them for a while random story i was at pet supermarket and some random dude comes up to me and he's like hey you want some geckos because my daughter is tired of taking care of them and i don't want them anymore so if you want hit me up and come and pick them up i'll give it to you for free so I've had these, and then recently, I just got another one from my homegirl, Nicole Lee. I just rescued this one. This guy is a fatty. Look at him. And not to be, you know, body shaming a lizard, but he's a thickums. He's a thickums boy. He's super nice. I mean, I've never really seen a mean leopard gecko, but we're in Kennedy's room right now. I hope Kennedy, you know. Likes his room when he finally gets to see it. Got his paintings up. 
Got his little shoes and all that stuff. He has his bed all set up. Look at that tank for his nightlight. Got this room set up for him, but here we are. Look at this. The, little, the new gecko to the family. Um, if you guys remembered, there was one year we actually had babies. And the babies didn't last too long because I was uneducated on how to take care of them. This is a female we've always had, as you guys might remember. But uh, I was uneducated on how to take care of them properly. So, sorry guys, I'm over here recording and handling at the same time. Oh, let me grab the boy. Oh, relax, buddy. Relax. So this is the boy. I don't know why he's being so feisty now. So, yeah. So this is the original boy, if you guys remembered him. But, yeah. So I got three now. They all live together harmoniously. Got a two highs, a water bowl, and that's basically it. I gave them a big tank before, and for some reason, they did not like it. So I brought them back to this tank. So, again, they're, um, I want to say they're nocturnal animals. Because for the most part, they're not very active during the day or whatnot. They're not really active during the day. I've always seen them sleeping for the most part. Actually, let me leave this light on, circulate some air. I've always seen them sleeping when I come in here during the day. But at night when I creep in, sometimes they're acting very crazy and making all these weird kind of noises. But anyways, so that's basically what? So 9, 10, 11, 12, right? What was the count, guys? We're at 13 with the fish tank. Three more geckos. That puts us at 16 animals, guys. Let's keep it moving. Oh, I'm tired already, honestly. So the next room we're going to go into is the laundry room where I usually, ah, before we go into the laundry room, I got to clean Apollo's mess because he gets pissed off sometimes and just dumps everything over. On that note, now we're going to clean Beerus's Kitty box, sweep the laundry room right quick. I gotta close all the rooms because Beers likes to do weird stuff. So let me just close this room because you know, it is what it is. So there, we're closing the rooms. I'm gonna go change the kitty box. What's on Beers' neck? It's a little, little shock collar. They both have them because we've been integrating them into each other's life it's been going pretty good i'm not gonna lie but either way we're gonna clean this room up see what's good we need to turn on this light jesus christ beerus and we're gonna get to it here we go here we go and beerus is animal number 17. so there you have it beerus is fed well i fed him already earlier I like to give them white food every other day, every at least twice a week. Because if, if guys don't know, cats need wet food. They, they, it's actually good for their diet. It's actually how they get their water. Even though they do drink water, they still require dead food, wet food for their diet. And that's Beerus. He's going to get a bath later today. He is a blue cat. Right now, he's a black cat. Look at all that fuzz. But yeah, on to the next pet. Um, I'm pretty sure this is animal what? What I say? 17? I think it's 17. Let's keep it moving. It's animal 17. Can you believe it? We're getting there, guys. Anyways, on to the next one. But here we are. We got another ball python. It looks like a cinnamon. I think my boy said it was a cinnamon or something like that. I really don't know what these are. I don't know all the fucking names and all that good stuff. But hey. It's another snake, it's a cool color. It's all white cinnamon color. This is number 18 right here. Her name is Gucci, apparently. I got this snake from Nicole the other day, as well as a gecko, because, you know, she has dogs already, she has all that, she tattoos all the time. She's a mother of two kids. She's an awesome person, but she doesn't have a lot of time, so she's like, Josh, you know what? Can you help a sister out? Can you save these animals? and put them onto your collection. And I was like, sure, why not? It will be an honor. Honestly, I even have Dizzy Snake, RIP to my boy, but I have one of the snakes that Dizzy has, you know? So it's just cool to have some of my friend's animals. So 
as we are, you might notice we are now in Kaya's room. This is her room right here. But anyways, we upgraded her tank. We had a little tank last time she came here to visit because she only got to come here only once, unfortunately. But um, we got her bigger cage or an enclosure to be at, to be correct. So, so what I did is this tank was actually missing a glass right here. I had a different little mesh on here when I had my um, chameleon, if you guys remember, RP the boy, George, uh, P my boy. He was such a dope chameleon. But we got some cool little animals here. So what we have here, look at my lovely plant. It's growing pretty well. It was a lot bigger, but I kind of cropped it down to like give it a living chance. I bought some lilies, got some lilies from my job that I work at. But anyways, this enclosure right here, we have, Ooh, it's nice and chilly and he is fat. We have Jerry, the Oxalati. Look at him, still doing good. Still doing good, my lad. Look at him, let's let him go in. Look, he's so fat. Besides him, we got somebody else pretty cool. Let's see if I can get him out. He's pretty nice. It's a little soft shell. Oh my God, it's a little baby. He's acting crazy. Let's see if he lets me see him. Oh my God. Hello. Hello. Say hello, little guy. Look at this fucking shell. It's so dope. Looks like a little leather panther kind of guy. But that's one of the new turtles in this tank. He's a cutie, isn't he? Again, what should we name him? Comment below. Look at him. He's so goofy. Hello, hello. All right. So this is the moment of truth right here. This is one of my favorite animals in the world. I do love turtles, all different types of turtles. And I do love different types of reptiles. I love my alligators, but one of my favorite, favorite, most dinosaur looking animal. And thanks to my boy Chase for hooking it up, who went to this reptile expo, knew that I was wanting this animal for a minute. But I totally forgot because it's been such a long time. I don't know if you guys remember it a long time ago. Mine died a while ago from some random occasion. But either way, back with a better return, brighter bright colors. Here is the Mata Mata. Kai is so lucky to get to live with this snake. I mean, snake. This turtle in her room. In this awesome enclosure. Look at that thing. Look at it. Thing is gorgeous. What? Straight dinosaur. It looks like a leaf. It looks like a straight leaf in the bottom of the water. It's did it's a it's native to the Amazon. It's honestly one of my favorite turtles of thing is gorgeous. So happy to finally have a Mata Mata again. This thing looks awesome. Jerry's happy to have friends in his tank. This tank is actually pretty cool. It's kind of hard to get good angles and stuff, but I love this tank. It looks so good. It looks so like natural. And yeah, can't wait to see these guys all get big. So right there, guys, we get 20, 21, and 22. That is 22 animals at this very current moment. I got to now go outside, prep some food for my other two animals that you guys already know. So, guys, here we are with the next animal. Let's see if I can get some focus on this sucker. This camera's been weird lately. But um, we got the Agama. Give him a piece of chicken. Let's see if he drops it. Give him a piece of chicken. He seems like he's been eating. He's about to go through a shed. He's a little bit on the bloody side because every time he sees me, he wants to go crazy. But like I was saying, every time he sees me, he seems to want to go crazy. So at that point, I mean, what can I really do, buddy? I'm trying to help you out. I know you might have had a better life out there, but you're not even supposed to be out there. Let's see if he wants to eat this thing. 
he's not too happy. It does seem like he's been eating his worms, so I'm gonna let that be. He needs a little bit of help peeling. This is kind of mean, look at him. He's not a happy guy. I can tell you that much. I still have to use gloves at least for one hand because he just, he's so rowdy. So rowdy. But anyways, I'm gonna try to catch one of his girlfriends when I go to work. So he'll probably be happy. There's two of them that are actually pregnant by this guy. Um, but look, he's doing good. He's getting bigger. He's shedding. So I'm gonna put him back in and get to the cooler animal, you know? Because this one, not so cool. You should soak, buddy. I let him I let him soak a little bit because as you can see, he was definitely peeling. So these enclosures, I also do put in um, live plants to give it that vibe. And it's also cool to just grow a plant outside within your enclosure that's part of the habitat. Look at the boy, he's actually kind of orange right now. Again, I have him soaking, left the chicken with some calcium out there. Water this plant. Don't mind this crazy dog, look at him. He's insane. Yes, yeah, so I water the plant, he's fed. I'm gonna let him soak for a little bit because he needs it. I build this little top right here for Stephanie so when she starts buying her plants, she has a nice place to put all her plants. And this is the enclosure for the Gama. I freaking love it, it's pretty big. I want to say it's about, give or take, four feet by three feet and probably like another four feet in height. And I also build these nice stand legs so it can have some height so I don't have to bend down all the time for the tank. But anyways, moment we all been waiting for. My favorite animal of all, besides Chevy. Don't let her know that I also like this one a lot. It's my boy Anubis, the famous, the famous short tail black dragon <laughs> so real quick i'm gonna go ahead and feed the homie and, uh, get him popping get him popping and locking so real quick we're gonna feed the homie I'm gonna do some interaction with him oh oh he got it he got it i was not trying to make it that easy for him but he got it anyway so here let's try this again this time i'm not gonna drop it He's gonna make it all the way up here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, over here. Come on. Get it. I'm not gonna lie. She needed a little bit of help. I gotta build him an easier way to get up here. Cause this is not that easy for him. But I mean, it's still good for him to work out, but again, I felt bad for the homie. Let's give him some more. Oh, over here, over here, come on. Over here, get over here. Come on, get it. Look at that tail, by the way. It's crazy how it healed up. Super impressed of what I accomplished. Saved my boy's life. He tried to charge me all this money to save him. I did a little bit of research, did all my own surgery and amputations, and still have a, an amazing, healthy animal. I actually made it to having a moving out, getting a house so we can actually have him outside again where he's supposed to be. I feel like it's just so much easier. But um, yeah, that's the boy Anubis. Look at him, just eating, rubbing. Gorgeous, one of my favorite animals of all time. I've had a couple, but like, these black ones are just different, man. Look at them, destroying that thing. This is literally a quarter, a quarter chicken. Well, it's a whole tender I cut up. Just devouring it. All these animals and all that stuff, I gotta kinda gotta do a quick count in my head. I totally forgot what number we're up to, but there's someone that's super jealous and I think he needs some affection. Let's see who it is. Hey, are you the cutest boy? Are you the cutest boy? Yes, so this is Apollo, if you guys don't know. 
And for the ones that do know, he's the biggest boy here. Look at him, big old baby. You a big old baby. Yes, I know. It's my Dogo Argentino, the big boy of the house. He always gets jealous when we talk about the other animals. But yeah, he's, I don't know what number it is. I'm gonna get back to you. I'm gonna recount and get back. So basically wrap it up with the counts at the house. We have 24 animals with my boy Apollo here living at my house. When we get to the studio later, I will finish counting the last couple animals we have there. I wanna say we have four more dragons, two snakes, five, sna three snakes. I don't know, we gotta count when we get there, but stay tuned guys. I'm gonna give you a little glimpse as well as a podcast today, and then we'll do the last counts with the animals. The animals also that we do have at the studio, I am working to build them enclosures here at the house. It's just gonna be a lot easier for me to maintain them. But hey, stay tuned, we're at 24, let's do it. guys so the episode was finished here we are with these other two snakes look at those colors wow one's the boy one's the girl and that's strawberry over there and that's peach but that right here makes um what is this 25 and 26 animals and all over here we just fed these motherfuckers and um they need to be moved to the house real soon let's open this up and then we got 27, 28, 29, and then 30. Look at that. Look at that. This one needs a peel really bad. Um, 30 animals, one more actually, to, to be exact. I also have Ernie. Ernie's all the way over here. Ernie is what started this whole journey of reptile loving. My boy Ernie. Mr. 31 himself. He might be 31 years old. That's my oldest snake, Ernie, my ball python. Look at him, such a gorgeous thing. All right guys, so I'm finally home. Episode is done. It was a great episode. Um, so we counted 31 animals for the whole zoo. It ain't much, but it is a lot of work. And I love every each and one of them in different ways, even if they hate me or not, but yeah, guys, that was an episode of Josh Does Everything. Thank you for staying, staying tuned. This is kind of a long episode, I believe. I'm not sure yet. I still haven't dropped the episode or made it yet. But basically, I'm talking in the future tense, so it all looks like it's part of a show. But anyways, hopefully it's a good one and you guys enjoyed it. Comment below what you think. Guys, also, I'm going to put my link for my GoFundMe and all that other stuff. The raffle. Guys, join the raffle. It's an opportunity to get a tattoo for cheap. 50 bucks who where will you ever get a tattoo for 50 dollars let's be real you also get a painting if you win one of my paintings my paintings go for up to three thousand dollars and more like even my basic paintings cost like 600 bucks guys come on work with me you need this 50 dollars for a raffle this is the opportunity guys but hey love you guys stay tuned keep moving hey chase the dreams this is josh from everything i love you guys peace and love hey. Adios, amigos. Hey.